the same, the same stuff here. And, uh, uh, but uh, so it, it happens that there are particular choices of this coefficient, so they produce a nice, that will produce nice and easy continuation, which has Q series expansion, actually. And this is what I will start talking about now. Any other questions? If you have if you had these allergic critical points, then then you wouldn't. I mean, then with this, the, those guys sh sh must be symmetric. But it's almost narrow in the transformer series. It's almost narrow. Uh, well, uh, yeah, because I mean, once you do, once you go to this uh, modified modular space where you you don't you question only only based gauge transformations. For example, the irreducible and uh, like trivial flat connections they, they will have different dimensions. So for example, irreducible they will always, always will be non-isolated in this approach. Okay. So this was a kind of a proposal how to, uh, well, some explicit conjectures, uh, which propose how you can uh, extend the definition, uh, one possible way to extend the definition of uh, uh, this uh, WRT environment to the, uh, any complex K. But uh, we, want, we want something more. We, we don't want just some analytic behavior on K. We want some sort of, uh, if you want to categorify the blurt environment we want, as in Jones plan, we, host, uh, we want to have some nice expansion in Q with integral coefficients. And uh, so, for example, uh, so if I consider, so suppose we found uh, some analytic continuation. And so let me just mention, for example, a very simple case where there is actually no, I mean, the analytic continuation can be obtained very simply. It's not necessary to do all this machinery. And uh, uh, so, so you can, uh, well, up to some simple, simple, very simple factor. Uh, it has the following form. Well, let me, uh, well, if I want to, to write dependence on K, it will be as follows. So this is a result. This, is, this result can be obtained by similarly to the exercise for land space L31, which was in the I think yesterday's problem set. So you see, even here we obtain some analytic confession in a, so of, of course, uh, as usual, Q is equal to the two pi i divided by K. So even we obtain some analytic expression in K, it's not, it's hard to categorize this directly. There is some, uh, so there is some mess going on. And uh, so one, but one can make a statement about that there is some universal way to reshuffle the WRT invariant. Uh, so that we obtain some nice expressions we, which we can try to categorify. Uh, so let me consider uh, to do this. Uh, so again, I will consider uh, the modeling space of abelian uh, SU2 flat connections on M3. And uh, so this can be realized as the homes from pi one of M3. So now, so we require, abelian means we require, we require all holonomies to map to the, to the maximal torus of SU2. This will be U1. 
and uh, the, uh, uh, the 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 conjugated action then will just act as a Z2 while symmetry action on U1, on the maximal torus. And uh, of course, here we can uh, replace pi1 to its abelianization, just H1 of M3. And uh, uh, we actually will be interested in the. Uh, in the uh, set of connected components. And this can be identified with the uh, homes uh, to the, of the just a torsion subgroup of H1 of M3 to E1 divided by Z2. Because the free, uh, well, if you have some free components, they will just result in the uh, kind of uh, uh, in the uh, enhance each uh, each point to uh, uh, to just a product of some u ones essentially. So the, if you're interested in connected components, we we can replace this H one by distortion subgroup. And uh, uh, then uh, let me introduce the following linking pairing. So it's a, it's, a, it's a bilinear pairing on the torsion uh, part of the first homology of, uh, of a three manifold valued in rational numbers modular inter integers. And it's uh, defined as follows. So let me consider a uh, certain uh, cycle A and cycle B representing representing the torsion elements uh, in the in the first homology. Uh, so I need to tell you where do I map it to, and uh, to do this, uh, I can take a, a two. Uh, so uh, since since B in torsion, uh, this means there exists some integer. Uh, well, let's say integer number p such that uh, p times b is a boundary uh, of uh, some two chain b prime. And then I want to map it, uh, this stuff, to the algebraic intersection number of uh, b prime with a divided by n. And of course, this is all only defined, well defined modular one. So in particular, uh, this linking pairing, uh, it's uh, can be suit, it provides explicit. Uh, hmm? Oh, yes, thank you. Provides explicit. Uh, Isomorphism between uh, the Pantragon dual of the torsion part of H1 and uh, uh, the torsion of H1 itself. So, in particular, if I take some element here, I can construct a, a home by considering a 2 pi exponential to pi linking number of uh, A uh, pairing uh, by linking number of A with uh, element here. So in particular, I can identify this, this, uh, this uh, home of torsion one to the torsion of H1 itself. Questions?
for example, uh, let me give you some example. Example, so LP1, uh, land space LP1, the, uh, so H1 is uh, ZP, so the whole, the whole sink is torsion, and uh, this linking of A and B is just uh, A times B divided by P mod one. So now I can make the following conjecture. So this is, uh, well, this appeared in the, uh, in the work by uh, Gukov, uh, uh, myself, and uh, Balfa. And also there was another work by Dupé. Uh, so let me uh, kind of uh, let me let me state a bit uh, kind of simple version of this conjecture. Which uh, so in this in this in particular version it actually uh, fails in some cases, but there is some small modification which one should do. And uh, but let me don't go into those details. Uh, so the conjecture is that. Uh, Okay, let me write it uh, in the form. So there exist uh, uh, some elements uh, that had A, where the label A belongs to the Torsion of H1 of M C divided by Z2. So Z2 action is uh, is again is induced by this. Uh, uh, so first of all, I identified this uh, this space with torsion by itself, and the Z2 action, which is induced by the wild, wild group action, is just a flip, the the flip of sign here. And uh, so the quantities which belong to the following space. 1 over 2c, uh, q delta a, uh, times series in q with integral coefficients, where uh, c is some positive integer, and uh, delta a is some rational number. So this is a set of indices uh, such that uh, the thing, the WRT invariant, is related to them with the following expression. By sum of uh, a pair of indices A and B belonging to this uh, set, torsion divided by Z2. And uh, so there will be 2 pi i k times the linking pairing of A with itself. And there'll be some matrix SAB. This is not uh, just warm in the very beginning. This is not as this S matrix of the MTC. It's very different. And uh, I want to take the limit of those of those whole thing uh, to K goes to the uh, well Q. So this stuff is some series in Q, and uh, so more uh, we w the, the statement that they are convergent in the unit disk, and then I can uh, take a limit some of this expression 
I don't have. But take a limit of this expression to Q goes to exponential of 2 pi i divided by k. Okay, where as a b is the following. So S A B is independent, is K independent. So only dependence on K is here, and the most important is the dependence on the kind of which which is very simple, and also here. But what is important that the, so S is, is independent on K, but it's important that the whole other like after this recombination, all other dependence on K is repackaged into some series in Q. So this is some normalization coefficient stabilizer of uh, element A with respect to Z2 action. And uh, the square root of the number of torsion elements of M3. Okay. Any questions? Yes. Uh, well, it's uh, yeah, it's kind of th this. Uh, yeah, this statement is kind of consistent with uh, with the statement which you mentioned. Yeah. Because uh, I mean, so I see fish functions like the spark and growth all connections. Why aren't we coming up with MD? Well, uh, okay. Let, let me. I, I was just about to mention. Uh, so first of all, I, okay. Be, so before mentioning this, let me mention the following remark. So this. Uh, so this this uh, factor which appears here uh, is uh, just uh, so the, in the exponential we have just the value of uh, transformers functional on the corresponding abelian flat connection because of this uh, uh, relation which is uh, one of the exercises today and. Uh, so other remark is that uh, uh, conjecture is consistent uh, with, uh, uh, with those resurgence conjectures. Which is uh, the stronger version of the asymptotic expansion conjecture, and uh, so this is because is that uh, although it's uh, naively it looks like there is the only sum of abelian kind of uh, abelian flat connection, but it's a, it is a, the the point is the non-abelian connections are repackaged here in some way. So that if you if you take uh, uh, so if you take a particular term a term is fixed a here so we have the following uh, thing So this is uh, uh, so this expression in terms of the uh, this quantities i i, which I introduced before, has the following. So it's a sum. So there is a, I, I a for abelian flat connection contributes with coefficient one, but then there is some sum of uh, 
contributions from irreducible flood connections such that, of course, we want to, there is some self-consistency condition that this sum over A is, should be the same as coefficients and B which appeared in the previous uh, conjectures. But moreover, it's, I mean, using this uh, kind of uh, wall, crossing f wall crossing formula, one can actually repackage by kind of uh, choosing a particular contour. One can express, of course, all these guys uh, through the, uh, uh, so, 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 just, just by starting from this B uh, corresponding to abelian. This, the, the functions B, B, B alpha or xi, where alpha corresponds to just a billion function. You're in choosing particular contour. Okay. So, of course, uh, uh, this, uh, I mean, suppose this conjecture is true. This doesn't, in principle, doesn't uniquely determine those uh, series in Q. So, you can have a series in Q which uh, give something trivial when Q goes to a root of unity. And, uh, but uh, from physics, uh, we expect, uh, uh, from physics, expect uh, that hat A to be a new uh, independently Defined uh, invariants, and uh, more, moreover, they have categorific from physics. We expect them to be uh, categorified in a way similar uh, to uh, how one of categorization of Jones polynomial. Moreover. Expect that that has, that hat a is to be uh, uh, obtained as uh, some graded Erler characteristics of uh, certain homology spaces associated to a three manifold, which also have carries this index a, and uh, uh, so this is a uh, y. Actually, the name, the, 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 the word BPS appears in the lecture title. So the, uh, those guys, which are A, are BPS states of uh, 6D 2,0 A1 type uh, superconformal field theory on uh, M3 times uh, disk times R, where R has a meaning of time along, wi along which uh, time direction along which we, we can we consider uh, quantize our theory and consider this Hilbert space from which we, we just take a BPS part. And A labels uh, boundary condition on uh, uh, disk on the boundary of this disk. And, uh, sorry. It's uh, invertible if uh, it's, in, well, to be precise, to be careful, I have to assume that M3 is Z2 homology sphere. And then S is invertible. Well, I don't want to do this. I want some, I want to, uh, that's what I'm saying. I, there is no, even if S and inversions, there could be non-unique that hard. I can add some, some function which one is like uh, Pachhammer symbol, which one is at all of unity. 
I want to calculate that has uh, some, indi some independent proposal, which one can do precise for some subclass of manifolds, uh, which I mentioned briefly now. And uh, Well, uh, I don't think this approach is, uh, well, I mean, you, uh, yes, you can try to do this. I mean, yes, I mean, this can help, but not much, I would say. And, uh, okay. Yes. So I'm saying, if like by itself, it doesn't fix. Is there a lot of ambiguity from just this? I just add a par something multiplied by pi hammer symbol. So they can be uh, can be independently defined. Uh, for a certain subclass of manifolds, which are uh, called plumbed. Manifolds with some, uh, some extra uh, condition on the, uh, with some condition on uh, linking matrix. And, uh, so plumb manifolds means uh, uh, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, can be understood as a, as a certain, sur it's a surgery on a link of uh, a knots which can be encoded in the, in what is called plumb graph. So graph means just, uh, so each vertex correspond to a node, and the edge means that the nodes are linked in the, in the canonical way. And uh, okay, just, uh, yeah, just write one formula and uh, so let me denote uh, by AI our framings. So for each unknot here, I associate some integral number which denotes framing. And so it can be given in terms of some sort of integral of some generating, generating function where I, I have a number of uh, variables over which I integrate uh, to be the same as number of vertices. And uh, uh, then I also have this, uh, for each vertex I have this factor z minus one divided by z associated to this vector times uh, uh, to, the, to the power, which is two minus uh, valency of the vertex. And then I multiply it by uh, by theta function uh, corresponding to uh, M, which is a Lincoln matrix. So this has explicit expression as the following sum of our lattice. So L is the number of components as, as, as before. I consider lattice with quadratic form given by the linking matrix. Okay. And uh, so one can check that it's particular, it's invariant under Kirby moves, uh, which, uh, uh, which uh, kind of uh, Kirby moves, which uh, relate the graph to another graph. 
on the uh, graph. And they are saying that uh, so any 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 two plan manifolds uh, uh, can be uh, can be related associated to to two different graphs can be related by or by the special graph Kirby moves, which uh, so there, there, there's some combination of of uh, of, of the Kirby fan graph moves which I mentioned before, which takes you one graph to another graph in particular. Okay, so and. Uh, so also, let, let me mention there was a, a relatively recent work by uh, Gukov and Monalesco. They also considered kind of generalization of this story to uh, kind of manifolds with toric boundaries. And uh, okay, but uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm out of time. Let me stop here. <laughs>